We're here with Richie Moanga, um, a good friend of mine, and um, what a pleasure to be talking to him today. Just give me a bit of an overview of what have you guys been doing in your time off? Exploring a bit of France, uh, based in Lyon. Uh, we went to Toulouse, and now we're here in the capital of, you know, of uh, beautiful wine mm. here in Bordeaux. And it's been, yeah, the hospitality of the French has been really good. First time I met you, you came up to me and you started speaking Fijian to me and I thought you were Fijian. <laughs> um, I was like, is Richie Mo a Fijian? And this was my first year, you know, in Crusaders. And um, where do you get that from? You have, a, I guess, a, an aura about you where you just go up to, you know, anyone and you make them feel welcome and make them feel like, oh, sharks, this guy is, you know, uh, the I, man. I, I, I just, um, I don't know, I, I, I love, uh, you know, people, human beings and, and finding some sort of connection uh, with them, whether they're the same ethnicity or not. And uh, finding things that you have in common is, is real cool to me. How are you so proud in your culture? Um, I guess for me, um, being brought up in a um, half Tongan, half Samoan household, it was always being uh, really proud of where you're from. And a big part of our upbringing was never forgetting where you've come from. Yeah. And uh, I like to take that with me uh, wherever I go. You know, in your left wrist, wristband, every game you play since you started, you have UPR. Um, what does that stand for? Um, UPR is the neighbourhood I grew up in in Christchurch. Yeah, it uh, stands for Upper Rikinen. Obviously, that's where I, I grew up. Yeah. And for me, that was a huge part of, of meeting so many of my closest friends and being proud of where I was from and also playing rugby on a world stage. Uh, it's so important that I can represent my suburb and neighbourhood and give others the, you know, the, the belief that they can, they can achieve great things too. This is your second World Cup and uh... You're heading off to, you know, Japan next year, but you've got a job to do here. Um, how much does, you know, this this mean to you? Oh, man, it means uh, the world to me. I think um, having the failure of 2019 um, has really motivated me to to do everything I can to put myself in the best position uh, come this World Cup. And I think just the understanding that World Cups are so different it's not like any other competition. It's not like any other test match. Um, and I think one thing I've learned is just to really enjoy and embrace every moment. It's a pinnacle of rugby competitions, but um, enjoying your work every day and embracing it is, is a real big part of, I think, being successful in it as well. Just got one more question for you, Bruss, and just give us a bit of uh, what is your why? Yeah. I, I, um, Family is a big one for me. Um, as I said, uh, my childhood was raised with uh, five other siblings in one house and, um, you know, mum and dad and, and making them proud. And, and then you get to a stage in your life where um, you create your own family. And so um, ultimately that's my why. Your two kids at home and my wife and um, making them proud and also um, trying to make my country proud too and do the best that I can. And I think that's a big part of why I do what I do, to, to have fun, but also to to make everyone, you know, happy and proud and enjoy myself. Russ, you're an awesome human being and shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you on our Front Row Daily Show. Thank you, um, thank you. Should we finish off with a song or Wadi? Right. What do you got for us, Bruss? Oh, we'll just have a, a jam, It's been hey? a while since we've had a little sing-along together. Yes, sir, three bags full. One 
for the master, one for the day, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Thank you, Prince. Thank you, Brown. Thank you, Sunny. That's us. That's unreal. That was awesome, bro.